Hello everybody, this is Dana with the Freedom Please channel and EssenceOfMe.com. I'm coming to you all today with a uh, viewer request for another installment of the Dream Chasing. I guess you can call it a series, even though it's not a series. <laughs> I guess it kind of is. But this video is going to be centered on learning to say no to people. Especially when it comes to changes that can take place when you are chasing your dreams. When you're identifying your dreams, you're deciding which way you want to go. And now you have to move forward. Well, how do you learn to say no to all the requests and all of the changes that your life may, that may dictate your life? And it's not just for people trying to chase their dreams. I mean, I'm going to tell you some things that I had to think about based on the requests. But I think this is going to be pretty universal. Many people find it hard to say no. And some people find it extremely easy. And so if you're the person that finds it extremely easy, then this video may not be for you. Um, but if this is for you, stick around with me after the introduction. And uh, I'm going to just hopefully help you learn to say no as you move forward in chasing your dreams. So I will see you on the other side of the introduction. Okay, it is officially, I think we have a couple of week, days, oh yeah, a couple of days until the new year. And I had at least one other um, installment planned for the Dream Chasing. I'm going to just go ahead and let it, call it a series, even though I don't think of it that way. Um, and someone in the comment section, I believe either the last video or the video before that, ask me to talk about saying no and so that's what this video is going to be about you gotta kind of forgive me I'm a little bit muted I'm tired <laughs> but I wanted to get this up because I want to get the 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 next one up in the next day or so I would love for it to be up before the first day of the new year so we'll see before I get started I want to show you all what I'm working on for my crafters I spent time working on things for other people that I just had to stop and give myself a break and work on something for me and here's what I'm working on oh on top of the fact for my crafters that I gave away almost every one of my new pieces that I made for myself for the fall so all the things you saw that I made that I said I made them for me I wore them a few times and people kept asking for them that I ended up giving them away so here's what I'm working on look at this edge okay I'm trying to see I'm doing this on a circular needle and the reason why is because this started off with two stitches and now I have all of these stitches on my needle I'm working on some Addy circulars I'm trying to make sure I don't mess anything up I'm gonna come a little closer look at this yarn now the color of course it's not gonna do it much justice because of the coloring in my camera and also the Sun is going down but this is so beautiful. This is the yarn that I showed you in my, um, I think it was a haul video, a yarn haul video. But this is the yarn that I received from my swap buddy from the UK. It's a hand dyed, I think it was called Rosy Posy. A hand dyed, um, I think it's a merino. I don't have the, I don't have the tag because this was, um, it was in a hank in the, actual tag on it was hand written which was beautiful with a little piece of fabric on the back so I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna get to the title of this video in a second and I'm also going to be writing a post about having to wind this hand wind as a ball I mean I had an episode but here it is this is what I'm working on this is based on a pattern which is like super duper easy and I have a wait, a ways to go, but I want to have this finished. My goal is to finish this by this week because I have some things that I'll be announcing in a separate crafting video coming up. So that is what I'm working on. And yeah, tell me what you're working on in the comment section. Um, I haven't done any cast off crew videos for a while because I was finishing up things and shipping them out. And I'm going to do a switch for 2014. At least that's my plan for my crafting videos. So I will tell you more about that in a separate video which I may go ahead and record today so I don't have to remember whether I've done it or not and I'm bringing up my notes. So with that said, 
um, this is the third, I think third video that is going to be um, focused on dream chasing. I started off with it being kind of a part B to an update video talking about how I go from uh, dreams or visions to goals. Then we, then I did a video on defining your why. And so yes, this is the third one. This video, I'm going to call it, I don't know. Hmm. I guess just the basic learning to say no. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a few a few things and then I'm gonna end with some very 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 practical things. The biggest thing with saying no is I think sometimes we feel bad, right? We feel bad if someone's either asking us to do it or we don't know how to honestly get to a point of where we equally honor our time and our space with the other person's requests. And sometimes it doesn't have to be a flat out no, but it could be a not right now. And, um, and that's why I want to end this with something extremely practical. Sometimes I think others may believe it's a, a cowardice approach, <laughs> but I'm going to stand by the fact that it is a way to begin. You have to begin somewhere. And if you haven't learned anything else from these videos, um, I think you've learned that I believe that it is totally okay to baby step your way into the process. I don't think it's okay to do nothing. And we don't want to keep having to be in that baby step mode. You want to really be in that big, bold, courageous mode. But you have to start somewhere. And for a lot of people, when it comes to saying no, family requests, friends request, um, even sometimes it may even be on your job. You've got to first get a handle on the situation before you can begin to make progress or you will continue to find yourself in that same position and you're asking yourself over and over again, why do I keep doing this to myself? Why am I still doing this? And you'll get to beat yourself up. And so we don't want that. So with that said, the first thing I'm going to start off with is understand that you have a choice. The problem is, is even though you have a choice, sometimes we are fearful of what whether what may come after that choice or the consequences. But the thing about fear, you know, that false, false evidence appearing real is that you don't know until you cross that boundary or that border of saying no and of standing your ground. And yes, it could be something, I don't know, like losing your job or having an issue or a rift in a relationship but it's this is going to go back to that second video of understanding your why your why should be the driving force your purpose should be the driving force in your life and that should be forever in your presence and once you know that it really can help you in determining when something is a yes and when something is a no because you're going to be honoring something that is so much greater and that has a greater benefit for those people that are around you okay so that first thing is understand that you do have a choice and um, and don't forget that um, and I'm gonna go on because we'll talk about it more later Two, understand um, what um, what understand what you're saying you know no to and what I mean by that is because usually when you're saying have to say no and stand your ground Usually that means you're saying yes to yourself on some things. Um, let me think of an example. Um, for me, my biggest yes and no or my biggest choices usually come down to time. I truly believe like most of the things that we have in our life or don't have in our life, God has given us the greatest gift of all if we are still up. If you're able to watch this video, then God is giving you the best gift that you can have, which is time. You have time to correct things. You have time to change. You have time to say yes and to move forward. And even though sometimes we may, may not feel like we have all the resources that we believe we have, we have the greatest thing, that. but it's something that is exhaustible. It's something that once you give it away, you can't get it back. And so for me, I usually find the issue with saying yes and saying no really comes to an issue of time. And so usually, which is why um, it's kind of one of the reasons why I started these videos and started thinking about this, is that if I'm saying 
yes, 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 yes to everything that is being asked of me. On this list of that limited amount of time, I start being bumped further and further, further down the list, right? So every time that I say yes to, to doing something for someone else, that may be something that is very important for them and something for them that may allow them to follow their dream and it's so helpful for them. But saying yes to them is meaning I'm saying no to me or I'm putting myself on the back burner once again or I'm shifting my priorities to accommodate their priorities. And the flip side of that, which is a really big burning thing, is that if you continue to say yes, you begin to resent that person, those people, when the reality is it's not their fault. You know, you're saying yes. And so you are giving away your power and your ability to make a different choice in that situation. So as soon as you say yes, it's like you give them permission to kind of block your dreams, to bump them out of way, and to, again, allow your priorities to fall down that list of priorities. And so that number two is really important, is understanding what you're saying no to. And, and also the other thing, actually, I'm going to save that for the end, okay? Number three is understand the value that lies in being the best you and how it benefits everyone. And <clears throat> this is not about necessarily saying no, but it is. And there is a value in you being the best you. And so learning how to prioritize, finding time for your dreams and your goals, learning how to have, even if it's not balanced, you have harmony in your life between your work and your crafts and your job and um, your career and your family and your children and your spouse. It makes you a better you. So when you're saying no, it's not necessarily like, hey, no, I don't care about you. Get out my face. Even though that may be what it is. It shouldn't be. It's I'm saying no to something that may be good so that I can say yes to something that may be great. And not just great for me. I mean, remember I talked about this, um, I think in the first video, that each of us need each other. And you showing up as the best you, the best version of yourself, gives gives even more to the like to the world, right? To the universe, to everything out there, you know that God created us for for this higher purpose. So when you're saying no, it really may be that you're telling that person yes, they just can't fill the yes right now, and um, and that's going to come probably in that practical aspect of it of how we can do that a little bit better, okay? The last one is understand understand that it is going to be hard. And I left this for last because I'm going to jump into the practicalness of all of this. But understand, this is going to be hard. You know, for most people that are yes people, you've been this way for a really long time. And you probably don't even know how to be anything other than that. Or you found yourself in this position because responsibilities have shifted and you thought you were picking up something temporarily and now it's been this ongoing thing and you don't want to carry that any longer. And I think that's why it's important to sit down and get your goals, get your priorities so that when you sit down to address these people in your life, you really know what it is you're asking for. You know why it is. And that's going to help you gauge when it means that you've got to take things a step further or move away from people or take a temporary time out or to identify whether these relationships are the relationships that are intended to move forward with you in your life. And that's a hard thing. But if you have those other things in place, it may be difficult. Not necessarily hard, but it may be difficult, but it would be necessary so that you can be that best, your best version of yourself. So to the practical side of this, um, this one is kind of <laughs> tricky to say. Okay, I believe number one is that you've got to do the things that we've already talked about, but one of the things is this: these little gadgets here. 
phones. Oh my gosh, phones, emails. Now you you have social media. You have Facebook. You have Twitter. You have all these different things where people have access to you. And I believe as you're starting to learn how to prioritize, you've got to kind of limit the, the access and set up some parameters for yourself. And with that, you got to have a plan. I cannot stress this. No, it does not mean you have to write it down. But if you've been a yes person for so long, you will be successful probably. Um, you'll probably be unsuccessful in your mind more than you're successful. But every time you break that cycle, it's going to feel better. And you're going to have a little bit of a little more courage under your belt. And when it comes to the next time that you have to say no. So what I mean by that as an example, limit the access that people have to you. And yes, this is the suggestion I'm about to tell you that may be cowardice, but use your voicemail. It's there to help you. <laughs> you know, limit the access that people have to you and start getting back to people at a time when you feel more, most comfortable. If you know it's somebody that always calls you when they need something and them needing something from you is draining on you and it takes a lot out of you, call them back when you're at your best. Don't call them back when, hey, life's hard for me too. And it doesn't mean brush them off. But it may mean, again, saying yes, saying no to them right now so that you can say yes to being a better you. Okay? It's also another practical thing is talk to the people that are the biggest drains on you in a sense of setting those boundaries and saying no and having those conversations with them. And it's not, you know, you're draining on my life, you're doing too much, you're team too much, it's too much dot com, right? All of that, no. It may be, hey, I'm working on some things that are really important to me and I feel like in doing this, is going to make me a better person and I can show up and be the best that I can or I can help you more in the future but for right now I've got to limit the amount of time that I do X Y and Z so here's what I can do and follow that with your proposition or how you can maybe so assist them but that that assistance doesn't come at the cost of you and that may mean that everything doesn't drop all at once but it can mean that you slowly begin to weed out those other things and make room for more things. Okay? And and I hope that makes sense. And you all know if anything um added to the comment section. Um you know, I, I there's a lot that I can say about this and this video was not like eh, right, but this saying no is like huge. Um, as I'm doing this and I'm writing out my goals um, today, um, when we went to church, part of the sermon, um, we had a guest preacher, and she said something that really just painted this visual picture to me. And she said that um, in order for some things to to be resurrected or to to take place or to grow in your life, basically, other things have to die. And I had to think about that. And I thought about, think about most things in your life. Well, we usually would think about it in the sense maybe of plants. You know, the germination process, something has to die. Um, you think about it, I think in a lot of things when it comes to nature. But when I thought about it, the same is true with relationships. The same is true with um, seasons in our lives. And sometimes we find ourselves in this holding space because we're trying to hold on to the old while still grasping for potentially the new. And, and I'm starting to realize that that's a setup for failure. Um, and maybe not even failure. Maybe that's just a setup to be in that holding space, a setup so that you cannot see progress because you're stretched in two different directions and being pulled means that all of the tension is being bore on you and so to that what that has to do have to do with this saying no bit think about that you know if you want new things to be um, planted into your life that means some old things 
have to die. It may be habits. It may be relationships. It may be some things that don't necessarily um, have to go away forever, but they may need to be shelved for a while. And even in the shelving process, eventually you realize, hey, I don't need it as much. Um, but with that, you're clearing the path and you're making room and you're making space for a better you. The other thing about that too is that um, saying no in the right way is good for everybody involved. That's why you have to think about it and have a plan in mind. It establishes that you, you know, you have a backbone, you know, that you're not going to let people run over you. But it also lets people know that, hey, I still care about you, but I care about me too. And you may not have the family environment or the situation environment where you can say it in those words. And I don't know what that situation is, but you know, and you know what the cost has been because you haven't said no or you haven't stood your ground and so think about what could be if you did I think that's it for today this got this is a little bit longer than I expected but I hope that it was helpful I really do hope that it's helpful I think having to say no and learning what those boundaries and those parameters are is going to be a constant issue or challenge that's better for many people if you're trying to do something new especially if you're trying to do something new uh, let's say for example when it comes to people that are now they've decided in the new year I'm gonna write a book that means they have to allocate time in their life that they have not allocated away before it may mean that hey I've got to say no to stand up late to watch TV so that I can wake up early to write that's still saying no. It's not saying no to a person. It's saying no, honestly, to yourself and saying that, you know what, my dreams are are so much more important than me knowing what's going on on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know, they're living their lives. You're watching them live their dream. You can live yours. And so it's going to be a challenge, but all things worth having are worth fighting for and worth working for. And so, hats off to you as you go on that journey. So that's it for me. Um, I will be back hopefully soon to do the last video in 2013 concerning dream chasing. And then we'll have more hopefully in 2014. I pray that you all had a wonderful Christmas and that We'll be able to have more discussions along this line again soon. Feel free to leave any comments, questions, concerns, um, suggestions uh, in the comment section. I keep thinking off because my brain is still my brain is still sleeping. <laughs> and I will be actually go ahead and just record um, an update for my crafters. And so you all had a nice long juicy video to work to, and um, I will see you all shortly. Take care, and I will see you all hopefully sooner than later. Goodbye.